Trippin' with the Ingalls. An RV built for two brings you the Quick Shades RV Shades unboxing and review. Hi, welcome to Trippin' with the Ingalls and uh, our unboxing of our RV Quick Shades. Uh, for more information, you can go to RV Built for Two and uh, take a look at some of the information that we have as far as why we made our selection, why we decided on getting these particular shades uh, for our RV. So this section is going to be the unboxing and uh, we'll take this and it came uh, wrapped up like this in black, uh, black plastic. Uh, fortunately, it's nothing breakable that's in here, so it's a pretty good, pretty good package. And we'll take the end here. And slice it open. So we've got the, looks like the main shade. We got a, a single shade for the uh, windshield itself. And then we got a second shade for the pilot side. So we wanted to check it out and see what it was like to uh, for the uh, to get the pilot side. We didn't think that we wanted one on the door and on the the um, co-pilot side, but uh, we can always add that. So this is the the pieces here, and um, I can feel that there are some uh, suction cups that are in the side here. So before we we'll go ahead and finish the unwrapping of this in the RV and then we'll try it out and put them on our windshield. So join us in a few minutes and we will uh, see what it's like to have these mounted uh, and use the shades on our, on our windshield. Again, RV Quick Shades and this is Jeff at uh, Trippin' Ingles, RVBuiltFor2.com. We'll see you in a minute. Received our quick shades and we're all ready to get them set up. The important thing to note here is that the instructions are actually part of the label here. So when you tear it off to take out the quick shades, make sure you keep these around. So we'll take that and slide out our quick shades. These are the quick shades for our side panel and for the side window. And so we've already have a pretty good idea of how we want things to be set up. And in the quick shades, there is some instructions here to make sure that you always remove the shades from your windshield before driving. So that's an important thing to remember. Um, it could get a little bit hazy out there and it may not be the fog that's outside if you don't take them down. And then the second sheet of page, uh, paper is a, an order form with some of the other stuff. So the main thing that you want to keep around while during this part of the installation instruction they are these instructions. And if we unroll it a little bit more, we've got our package of suction cups that we'll use to attach the quick shades. The key thing here, what the instructions call for is to take an ice pick and about an inch from the top of the shade. We don't have an ice pick, but we've, from doing our other shade, we found that a Phillips screwdriver works pretty good. So we take the shade suction cup out, and there are two parts to the suction cup assembly. There is the made in US suction cup itself and we've got three of them for this small shade and we had I don't know a dozen of them I think for the for the other shade. So there's this little sealer uh, pin that that goes into the end of it. So when we pick a corner and uh, we go about an inch in and all we have to do is separate the fabric a little bit so that there's enough room for the quick shade for this pin here to go through yeah so it's it's through the material there and then we attach the suction cup 
So you just take this and put these into the fabric and go around the top and the sides as appropriate depending on the shade. The big shades have uh, uh, enough suction cups for along the top and the sides as well and uh, then you're done. Uh, just one additional note, uh, what I did is I put a, uh, an attachment on both ends and then the middle on the big shade and then divided those in half again. Here's the view out the window before putting the quick shades on. I grabbed the quick shades that I had put into uh, above the closet and just rolled it up and uh, we have a shelf in the back closet that would fit in really nicely. They're, they're lightweight and so they're easy to deal with. Uh, when I put the suction cups on, I'd actually started on this corner here and then worked my way over, put in one in the middle and then on the, on the end there and had a little bit left over. Uh, so at some point I'll probably trim it. Oh, there wasn't that much left over and so I may not bother to, to go ahead and trim it. So, the, you know, the, the installation process here is, um, is pretty straightforward and it comes with plenty of suction cups. I only used about half of them. So I start over on the corner and put the suction cup up and then just pull it somewhat tight. If you have a large black band around your windshield, the instructions recommend that you put the suction cup below that. And the center one, I got just lined up with the center of the windshield there. And then there's about six inches left over. And then on the bottom, there's probably about four or five inches of extra material. And uh, the instructions are to trim that off. Uh, we just left it. It's not that much that's, uh, that's sitting there. And the material does not fray. And we got like four samples of the um, uh, material. So there were four different colors for this particular one that we could pick from. So if you'll give me a second and I'll adjust the exposure and you can see what it looks like once I have the, from the what the outside looks like once we have the quick shade up and then I'll also create a couple of videos of what it looks like from the outside looking in during the day and looking in at night. Here's the view looking outside during the daytime with the quick shades up. Here's the view out the window before putting the quick shades on. A lot of the difference in looking at the at the trying to look into the RV is going to depend on the lighting factor such as the sun. So right now we're actually the sun is from behind the RV and so we're looking into the sun and uh, it makes it very difficult to see. So uh, I'll take another one a little bit later in the day during the sun time and sunlight so you can see what it looks like with a little different light uh, showing in there. Uh, I'll go out inside and I'll stand in front of the, uh, in, the win in the window there and so you can see me. As I go into the RV you can see a little bit of shadow when I walk back and forth. Otherwise, during the day, you can barely see anything. However, at night, you can barely tell the quick shades they're there at all. If you want any privacy, you're going to have to close the curtains. This has been Trippin' with the Ingles and the unboxing and review of Quick Shades, RV Shades. Catch us at rvbuiltfor2.com.